it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. Um, this is, I had some leftover paint that I have in this, I have already layered in this cup. So this was a fail I did a few days ago. I am going to show you what I do to my edges um, before I paint. It's basically what Sarah and Dwight do. They're such an inspiration. It's just Argus Loft, Flow White, straight from the bottle onto the canvas. And you just need really to do the edges. There you go. So I was really pleased with that 16 by 20. And I had this guy I did, I wasn't happy with him. He's, um, he or she, <laughs> I don't know, but uh, I wasn't, I don't know, wasn't feeling it. It just looked too contrived, and that's not the look I was going for. So anyhow, um, hope everyone's doing all, well, doing all right, and I've got lots of extra paint here, so I'm just going to go ahead and spread it around. It basically makes the, um, the canvas tacky so that the paints have, and the cells have a better chance of adhering and keeping their shape. So I am going to do, now I just mixed up a fresh batch of um, cloud mix and I don't know if I got it right. <laughs> My own recipe and I was like oh shoot I wasn't supposed to put 12 ounces of that in right away and, and so it just kind of messed me up I'm hoping that it um, turned out all right but, and um, there we go that's good enough all right so this is the new batch I made it and then I had to add water at the end so that's about what we need for this canvas gonna pour it out and move it around lots of bubbles this actually looks a little thicker than what I'm used to so I might have mucked up the recipe but we'll try it We'll see in a few minutes. <clears throat> I've always got more paint. And DecoArt has satin enamels on their website. Just to let you know. I think it's $8.98 um, for... Oh, goodness. What have we got here? I thought I saw something. That, that's from... <laughs> that's dried paint from this, the edge of the bottle. All right, it's moving pretty quick. Looks, looks to me like it's okay. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do a, oh, I'm, I'm missing some here in the corner. I'm gonna do a, um, a flip cup and it's gonna be a wandering flip cup. These corners are all good. I think I might, might put a little bit more paint on because this doesn't seem like it's going to be enough. <sighs> Just on my edges. Just a little bit. Especially on the edges. There we go. That's good enough. Alright, so I really like the color palette from the last one I did. And because I had poured, or I had layered two cups, thinking I'd need them both, I ended up with an extra cup. And I have to tell you, I'm gonna, <laughs> um, less is always more. <laughs> Especially with this technique. Less is more. Throw those bubbles out. turned out pretty good on the last one. Let's see if we can do something similar on this one. Ooh, lots of browns in there. 
I noticed that this one had a lot more browns than the other one. Um, that's probably why I went with the other one first. But they're the same colors, just different um, layering. And I'm just gonna let that sit for a minute while I contemplate. See, this is all gonna go away. Um, you can't really keep those cells because they're gonna just get all wonky anyways. I'll probably come down here first. Uh, well, it's gonna depend on how this all goes. One thing about a flip cup, you never know what you're gonna get. There's not really a, that much control over it. doesn't really matter. It's all selling up quite a bit right now anyway, so knock these guys off. Right down this way. Oh, such pretty colors. And I like how they're um they're mixing with the white to pastel. I'm liking this a lot. Got to remember to take enough paint off and wherever you go off the edges, you're going to get cells. So I'm going to come over this way. It's starting to sell up at the bottom. We don't want to, we don't want to spend too much more time tilting because we'll end up with wonky cells. Okay, I think I'm pretty much done. <laughs> I'm going to pull this back just a bit. So I can get some cells up there. And hopefully I didn't mess up my recipe. Oh. This time no gloves. <laughs> oh, I'm liking it. Alright, I've got to fix this right here. Doesn't belong. Do I have any more white, white? There we go. You can always touch up afterwards too, guys. Well, that is interesting. I'm loving it so far. I sometimes wish we could just say stop, but I do want this to develop, develop a little bit more. Um, I am once again going, whoops, going to, oh God, it looks like a smoky mountain or something. I'm going to put you on time lapse, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and torch it first. Guys, I'm having way too much fun with this stuff. I don't know about you guys, but ugh. ice again and we'll see how much we've got here I don't know if I'm gonna mess with it right now or later possible. I'm just <laughs> having too much fun. I can't sleep. Even when I try to sleep, I can't. So, oh my god. Oh.
Very pretty. This is selling out quite a bit. I don't know if this is going to sell out too much. We'll see. If not, we can always add cells too. You know you can do that, right? All right. I'm going to stop messing with it. I'm going to leave it alone for a bit. And I am going to put you on time lapse. Here you go. Okay guys, I took out my palette knife to do something to this and I looked at it and said, hell no. Oh my Lanta. Now guys, this, this was three ounces of paint I put on to use on this, look at that, the purple and the blue mixing. Ugh. Love it. Um, yeah, three ounces of paint for this entire 20 by 20. So when you think about it, I know that the satin enamels costs a little bit more, but you're not using a lot of other paint. So frankly, it's not bad. Look at that up there. Oh my goodness. So you're saving the colored paint and the white's costing you a little bit more, but it's gonna balance out. Look at those cute little cells. I am so happy, look at that. Oh. Yeah, there was nothing really I needed to do to this. It's like springtime. It's actually the first day of spring today. So, let me know what you think. Um, I love that blue right there too. Don't drop the phone, Michelle. Oh, I'm so glad I did a second one. I used up my uh, my paints. There's some multicolored cells right there, and right here. And there's that uh, mix of the golds, the pharaoh and the Olympic gold, oh. and the green gold by um, Golden right along there. That edge that is so cool. <laughs> Anyhow, let me know what you think. Please be safe and create, and please like, share, and subscribe. Ciao for now.